Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this hat here. Okay, so it's made from the top down. Shell stitches. And then some ribbing around the edges. It sparkles. It's so pretty. I really, really like it. My hat now. I claimed it. I'll be wearing it now in some of my videos. So what do you think? You guys like it? Can you see it okay? I think it turned out quite well. It's really warm and comfortable. You guys want to go ahead and do it? Intermediate pattern. I think I mentioned that. Try it anyways if you're a beginner. I think you'd be, you'd probably be able to do it. Maybe. But it doesn't hurt to try. I encourage you to try. Because I have faith in you. I know that you can do it. I know you can. You guys ready? Let's do it. So here is a look at the hat up close. Ain't that pretty. I like it. It's super soft. Super warm. I still gotta hide a tail, so. So this will fit probably a 21, 21 and a half inch um, head. Got, that's about what mine is, and it fits fits nicely. If you wanna make it like 22 inches, I'd probably suggest using a one size hook bigger. Um, um, I consider this an intermediate pattern. Beginners are always welcome to try. I always hope and wish that I teach well enough that even a beginner can do an advanced pattern. I don't know if it's true, but I always try to. So that's what it looks like. And so for this project, I am using Lion Brand Boogie Nights. It's 149 yards of 100% sparkly polyester yarn. This is the first time I used it. Very nice yarn. I really, really like it. Now there's 100, it's classified as a bulky number five, but I consider it more like a medium four. So any medium four will work or a thinner bulky five um, would work to a thinner bulky five like scarfy or something. That's a pretty thin bulky five. But other than that, any four weight yarn will work. Um, there's 149 yards here. This is all I have left. So you're probably going to need um, 130 yards probably. Um, that's going to be my guess. Uh, maybe 140 just to be safe. And then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn that on that notification bell to where it looks like it's ringing. That way you get notified at all my videos. You don't want to miss any of my tutorials. I have hundreds of them on my channel. Feel free to check them out. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. All right. We're gonna start off with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to slip stitch into this first stitch to form a ring. We're working at the top of the hat and working our way down. So go ahead and slip stitch like that. And we are going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch at all. Doesn't count as anything. So now we're going to be working through the center of the ring. And we're going to start off by single crocheting into the ring. One single crochet. Like that. And now we're going to work a shell. Now a shell in this pattern consists of five double crochets. So we're going to go ahead and work five double crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, and there's five. And now we're going to kind of repeat that again, starting with the single crochet. So we're going to go in single crochet through the center of the ring. And you might have to keep pulling your stitches back a little bit. And now we're going to do a shell through the center of the ring, which is five double crochets. There's one. Two. 
two, three, four, and five. So now we have two shells. Again, we wanna do this so we have a total of four. So we're gonna go ahead and single crochet again into the center of the ring. And now we're gonna work on our third shell, which is five doubles again through the center of the ring. There's five. I'm going to slide them over again and now I'm going to single crochet through the center of the ring. Now I'm going to do one a last shell by working five double crochets again through the center of the ring. There we go. Now we're not gonna do a uh, single crochet after that. What we're gonna do to end round one is slip stitch into our first single crochet right here. Not the chain one. Remember I said that don't count as a stitch. So go ahead and go into that first single crochet and slip stitch. And that'll end round one. Pull your tail. You can usually close that center up a little bit more, but at the end we will sew it together and you won't even be able to tell there's an opening there. So at the end of round one, you should have a total there of four shells. So now we're gonna start round two. And round two, we are going to start increasing the top of the hat. So we're gonna slip, slip stitch three times until we get to the middle of the first shell. So here's one, two, and three. So this is round two. And now we are going to chain one and do a single crochet into that same stitch. Just like that. Now we are going to skip the two stitches of the shell and we're gonna be working in the single crochet from the previous row. And we're going to do what is called a shell increase into that single crochet. So the shell increase is, we're going into that single crochet, we're gonna work three double crochets. So one, two, three and then we are going to do a chain of one and then we're going to go back into that same stitch and work three more double crochets and that is how we do a shell increase like that now we're going to kind of repeat that we are going to skip the next two stitches one two and then the next one which is the center of the next shell we're going to single crochet and then we're going to skip the other two stitches of the shell and down here in this single crochet from the previous row we're going to do a shell increase so we're going to work into that single crochet and we're going to work three doubles And then we will chain one and go back into the same stitch and work three more doubles because that's how we do our increase or our shell increase. Three doubles, chain one, three doubles. Just like that. Now we're gonna repeat again. We're going to skip two stitches and single crochet in the next, which will be in the middle of the previous shell. Now we're gonna skip 
two stitches again and we are going to work a shell increase down here into this single crochet so I'm going to work my three doubles chain one and three doubles all down there into that single crochet from the previous round Again, we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and the next one will be the middle of the shell, and we single crochet. Now we're going to skip two stitches again, skip, skip, and then down here, <clears throat> excuse me, in the single crochet, we'll do our single crochet increase again. So three doubles. Chain one and three more doubles. And now we are going to end round two by skipping these two stitches and slip stitching right here into our first single crochet. And at the end of round two, you should have a total of four shell increases. Now it's gonna look a little square. And remember, don't mind that circle. We'll tighten it up at the end and you won't even know that it's there. So it does look a little square. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Okay, now for round three, you're going to slip stitch two times. So here is our shell increase right here. We did three doubles, chain one, and three doubles. We're going to be working in the first half of the shell increase. So we want to slip stitch two times to that middle stitch of this group of three double crochets. So there's one and two. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that same spot and single crochet. Now we're going to skip one stitch and in this chain one space we're going to work a regular shell. So we're going to work five double crochets into that same stitch. Again, we are going to skip one and single crochet in the next, which will be the middle stitch of this group of three. And we're going to skip one and in the next stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous round, we're going to do a regular shell. So five double crochets into that stitch. Okay, well now we're going to repeat what we just did. So we're at our shell increase again. This first half here where there's three double crochets, we're going to skip one and single crochet in the next, which is the middle of that group of three. And then we're going to skip one and in the chain one space here, we're going to work a regular shell. So five double crochets there into that chain one space. And then we skip one double crochet, this one right here, and then the next one, which is the middle of that group of three, we single crochet. We skip one again, and in the next one, which is the single crochet from the previous round, we're going to work five double crochets, so just a regular shell. Now we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning. like that so again we just skip one single into the next skip one and shell which will be in the chain one space
skip one, this one right here. Sometimes it gets hidden, but you gotta look for it. So skip one, single into the next. Skip one, and in the next, which will be the single from the previous round, go ahead and do a regular shell. So five doubles into that same stitch. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until I get to the end of round three. All right, I have made it to the end of round three, and what I want to do, I just finished a shawl, and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching right here into this first single crochet. That'll end round three, and now you should have a total of eight regular shells. It's kind of starting to look round, but still a little square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's look pretty good, though. I love this yarn. Now what we're going to do, we are going to start round four by slip stitching three times to the center of the very first shell. So one, two, and three. So we're in the middle of the first shell. We are going to chain one and a single crochet back into that same stitch like that. Now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip. And then the next stitch will be a single crochet. We're going to go ahead and do a regular shell into that single crochet. So five double crochets down there in that single crochet from the previous round. And then again, we are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip. And then the next one, which will be the center of our shell we are going to single crochet and we're going to kind of repeat this pattern all the way around skip two skip skip and we'll be down here in the single crochet and we're going to do a regular shell into that single crochet so five doubles down here in the single crochet And we will skip two again, skip, skip, single crochet in the next, which will be the middle of the shell. Skip two again, skip, skip, and then the next one, which will be the single from the previous round, we will do a shell, just a regular shell, five doubles. So I'm going to repeat this pattern for round four all the way around until we get back to our starting point. One, two, three, four, five. So we skip two again, skip, skip, single into the next, middle of the shell. Skip two again, and shell down here into that single crochet. So I'll meet back up with you when I get to the end of round four. Okay, I have made it to the end of round four. <clears throat> I just did my last shell. Now I'm gonna end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. And you should have a total of eight shells like that so round five is an increase round so let's go ahead and get started on that so what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch three times to the middle of our first shell so there's one two and three we are going to chain one and we're going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and we'll be down here at the single crochet. We're going to work a shell increase into that single crochet. So remember the increase is three double crochets. A chain of one, and then three more double crochets, all into the same stitch. Okay, now we're going to skip two stitches again, skip, skip, so we'll be in the middle of the next shell, and we're going to single crochet, and now we're going to skip two again, skip, skip, and we'll be at the single crochet again from the previous row. This time we're just going to do a regular shell, so we're going to put five double crochets into the same stitch.
like that. Now we're going to kind of repeat what we just did. So we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip the next one, single crochet because it'll be the middle of that shell from the previous round. Then we'll skip two again, skip, skip, and then the single crochet from the previous round. Now we're going to do a shell increase. So three doubles. A chain one and three more doubles. Now we'll skip two, skip, skip, single crochet in the next, skip two, skip, skip, and we're going to be right down here to the single crochet from the previous round. And now we're just going to do a regular shell this time. So five doubles into the same stitch. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. Every time we get to a single crochet where we have to do a shell, it's every other. One will be an increase, the next one will be a regular shell. Then it'll be an increase and then it'll be a regular shell. So we're just kind of uh, skipping two again. Skip, skip, single into the next. Skip into again. And in the single crochet, since we just did a regular shell, the next one will be a shell increase. So we'll do our shell increase down here in the single crochet. And then we skip two again, skip, skip, single into the next. Skip two again, skip, skip, and then the single crochet, since our last one was an increase, this one will be a regular shell. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of round five. All right, I've come to the end of round five. My last stitch here was a regular shell so I'm going to skip um, the two stitches and then I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single crochet that will end round five and now you'll have a total of eight shells four of them will be shell increases and four of them will be regular shells it's okay if it's kind of popping up a little bit that's that's not a problem so now we're going to start round six and we are going to slip stitch two times to the middle of the first shell increase. So remember the shell increase is three doubles, chain one, three doubles. So we're gonna slip stitch two times to the middle of these three doubles. So there's one and there's two and we are gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet right back into that same stitch like that. Then we're gonna skip one stitch and in this chain one space, we're going to put a regular shell. So we're going to put five double crochets into that regular or into that chain one space. So just a regular shell. There's four. And there's five. Now we are going to skip one stitch. So it kind of hides. Skip that one and we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to skip one again and we're going to do a regular shell into the single crochet from the previous round. So we're not going to be doing any shell increases now. It's just all regular shells this time. And there's five. Now since this is a regular shell here and not a regular shell increase, we're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next one, which will be the middle of the shell, we're going to single crochet. And then we'll skip two again, skip, skip, and we'll be at the single crochet from the previous round. We're going to do a regular shell into that stitch. So five doubles. Uh, 
All right, now we're here. This is a shell increase. So this time we need, we need to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next. Skip one stitch and shell into the chain space of that shell increase. So five double crochets. Skip one stitch, skip that one. So we will single crochet in the next. Skip one stitch and we'll be at the single from the previous round and we're gonna shell into that one. Regular shell, five double crochets. Okay, now this one is a regular shell. It's not an increase, so we'll skip two this time. Skip, skip, and that'll bring us to the middle of that shell. So we single crochet, skip two again, skip, skip, and that'll bring us to the single crochet from the previous round. Do a regular shell into that single crochet. So I am going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Remember when we get to a shell increase from the previous round like this one, we only skip one and then we single crochet. And then we skip one and then we shell into that chain space, regular shell. And then we skip one again and single crochet. And then we skip one again until we get to that uh, single crochet from the previous round and we do a regular shell, five doubles. And now we're at a regular shell from the previous round. So this time we have to skip two, skip, skip. And then the next one, that way we'll be in the middle of that shell. And then we skip two again, skip, skip, and shell into that single crochet from the previous round. So I am going to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around until I get to the end of round six. Alrighty, I made it to the end of round six. I just ended in a shell. And I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my first single crochet to end that round. Should have 12 shells now. Looks a little square again. So, kind of. Yeah, it's pretty square. That's okay. That is just fine. That's how it's supposed to look. Now, number seven is going to be the repeat round for the majority of the hat now. So what we will do on round seven is we are going to slip stitch two times. I'm sorry, slip stitch three times until we get to the middle of our first shell. So one, two, three. Chain one, go back into that same spot and single crochet. Now there will be no more increasing of the shells. That part is over. It's gonna be all regular shells now. So we're gonna skip two, skip, skip. Here in the single crochet, we will put a regular shell, five double crochets into that same stitch. Skip two, skip, skip, and in the next one, which will be the middle of that shell, single crochet. And that's what we're gonna repeat all the way around. Skip two, skip, skip, and in that single crochet, we do a regular shell. Oopsie daisy. Drop that one. And again, we will skip two stitches, skip, skip, and the next one will be the middle of that shell. We're gonna single crochet. Skip two, skip, skip, and in this single crochet down here from the previous round, we're gonna do a shell. So this is what we're gonna repeat now for round seven.
skip two, skip, skip, the next one, single crochet, it'll be the middle stitch of that shell. Skip two, skip, skip, and the next one will be a, that single crochet from the previous round, regular shell into it. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Remember, no more than pesky shell increases. This, this is all regular, regular shells from now on. Skip two, skip, skip, single, and do the next. Skip two, skip, skip, single, that single crochet right there, and we'll put a shell in it. So I'm gonna meet you back up at the end of round seven. All right, I made it to the end of round seven. I just did a shell. Now I'm gonna end round seven by slip stitching into my first single crochet. And I will have 12 shells. That's the magic number. So you need to have 12 shells now at the end of every round. We're just gonna keep repeating round seven. And don't worry if it looks funky right now. The more rounds you do, it'll start to bend down and look more like a hat. Hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So let's just keep going and keep repeating round seven. We'll always have 12 shells at the end of every round. So for round eight, I'm just going to do what I did on round seven. And I'm gonna slip stitch three times to the middle of my first shell. And then I will chain one, single crochet back into that same stitch. And then I'll start off skipping two and shell right down here into the single crochet. Skip two, skip, skip single crochet in the next which will be in the middle of that shell skip two skip skip and shell right down here into that single crochet so i'm gonna keep repeating round seven until i get my hat a little bit longer remember 12 shells at the end of every round i'm on round eight right now all right i have done a total of 13 rounds and that is starting from row one i count down one two three four five Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. So I'm going to put a brim on mine. If you don't want to put a brim on yours, you can just continue doing these shell rows until you get it the length that you want it to be. But what I went ahead and did, now I'm going to start round 14. And I went ahead and ended it in my slip, uh, slip stitch there in my first single crochet. Okay, so what I want to do is slip stitch one time to my next stitch, which is the first stitch of the shell. I want to chain one, and I'm going to put a half double crochet into that first stitch. What I'm doing now, it's a half double. I'm trying to even out this row of shells so they're not so bumpy. Now I'm going to put one single crochet over the next three stitches. One, two, and three and now I'm going to half double crochet this last stitch of the shell and that single crochet together so I'm going to make those two stitches into one so I'm going to yarn over go into that stitch and drop a loop then I'm going to yarn over again and go into that single crochet and drop a loop I'll have five loops I'm going to yarn over and go through all five here we go that half double crocheted those two stitches together. So it made those two stitches one. So now I'm gonna put a half double into the next stitch. One single crochet over the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're gonna half double crochet the next two. So this double crochet and this single crochet, we are going to half double crochet them together. So I'm going to yarn over, go in to the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, five loops, yarn over and go through all five, just like that. Again, I'm going to half double into the next stitch, 
single crochet over the next three. One, two, three, and then half double crochet the next two together. So yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go into that single crochet, drop a loop, five loops, yarn over and go through all five loops, just like that. And you can see it's straightening out that edge there. Now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around. So half double into the next, one single into the next three, one, two, three, and then half double the next two together. So yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, five loops, yarn over, and go through all five. So I'm going to repeat that pattern until I get back around to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end. I did my three single crochets in a row and I have two stitches left and I want to half double crochet those together. Like that. And then we will end by slip stitching into our first half double crochet. And you should have a total of 60 stitches. There we go. That kind of evened up the bottom a little bit. Let me look at it. I think I want to put some ribbing on it. So what I'm going to do is chain one. I'm going to go back in that same stitch and double crochet. Now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. If you want your band to be all single crochet, that's fine. Could just do rows of single crochet here, but I'm going to put ribbing on mine. So one double crochet in every stitch around. We are on round 15 now until we get back to our starting point. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round 15. I have 60 double crochets now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first one there. Okay, round 16, we are going to chain one and we're gonna double crochet right back into that same stitch. And now I am going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and instead of double crocheting into the top, I'm just going to double crochet around the front post of the stitch. Like that. And then the next stitch I'm going to do a back post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go from the post from behind like this. So now the post is on the back of my hook. And then I'll go ahead and do my double crochet. The back post is a little bit more trickier than the front post. And then I'm going to do a front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. And this is going to create my ribbing. Front post double. and a back post double. And I'm gonna repeat this all the way around. Front post double crochet, back post double. Front and back. So I'm gonna continue this around until I get to the end of my round. Alrighty, I'm coming to the end of round, let's see, 16 I believe. That is my front post, back post, double crochet round. And I have 60 stitches. You should end it in a front post, double crochet, and I'm going to slip stitch into my first double right there. Now I'm going to do uh, repeat for round 17. I'm going to repeat round 16. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to double crochet back in 
to that same stitch and then I'm going to start by front post double crochet around the next stitch which is a front post double from the previous round and then I'm going to do a back post double around the next stitch so round 17 and then front post is just a repeat around 16 it's the uh, back post front post repeat now if you try want to try your hat on and you feel like it's long enough you don't you don't have to put the second row of ribbing on I uh, prefer my hats to be a little bit longer I am making this one for me so so I'm gonna continue around and I'm gonna put a back post front post back post front post all the way around just repeating round 16 until I get back to my starting point. Okay, I made a round to the end of round 17. 60 stitches still. Should have ended in a front post double crochet. I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double. Now round 18 is going to be my finishing round. So what I'm going to do is chain one. I'm going to put a single crochet back into that same stitch. And I'm going to work around and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just like this. And I'm going to do this until I get back around to the end of round 18. Just, just gives it a finished look. There we go. So one single in every stitch. To be right back here. All right, I've made it to the end of round 18. I want I have 60 stitches still. I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet and then tie that off. Hide that tail. Oh. Tie that tail. Hide that. What happened? I tried ripping it with my hands and it didn't work. All right, so we tie that off hide that tail and we got to sew up that top hole so I'll show you how I do that real quick so never mind that get up in here on the inside you see this hole here use your yarn needle and then this tail here that we have and we'll just sew up that hole so it's not so gapy what I do is I'm on the inside of my work I just kind of go around and I pull it tight as I go and it should just close up that circle usually does anyway there we go so just keep going around and see my hole is closing up hiding our tail at the same time just like that look at that closed up so then you just go ahead and clip that yarn look at it at the top and it's like it was never even open so that's it uh, I still gotta hide my tails but I hope you enjoyed or hide my bottom tail I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I like it my new hat please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button turn that bell on to where it rings so you don't miss any of my videos I got lots hundreds of crochet tutorials lots of yarn talk if you like that because I really like yarn talk um, if you look over there to the right hand corner, I'm going to put a playlist of all my hats. Oh, I have, oh, I probably got like 50, 50 hat tutorials, probably something like that. So if you want to take a quick look at that, you can um, go through that. Maybe you'll find another one that you want, that you like and want to make. I really like this yarn. There we go. I kind of changed it, made it where it was, wasn't so bright in here. So maybe you could see it a little better, but it's super sparkly. It's really pretty. It's like, I like it. So that's it thanks everybody for watching remember if you make this or anything else from any of my videos i really really like to look at people's work uh of the stuff that they make of mine you can follow me on instagram link below in the description box show me there you can follow me on follow me on facebook and uh post it there either place i'll see it thanks everybody for watching bye bye